Class means smack in Danish, and you can literally pick it up with no rules explanation at all. Just try to put the ball in the hole and you're off. Anyone can do it and you'll have a blast. However, if you want to know the official rules, then keep watching for a few minutes and I'll explain all. First, decide the start player, who will begin as server. Either youngest player, random choice, or the player who flicks their score token closer to 6 in one go from 0 without falling off. Next, set up the board. Place the three obstacle magnets on circles in the centre, with their holes, i.e. the magnets, facing up. Place both score tokens on zero, put both player strikers on board. Thin bit on top, thick bit on bottom, one on each side. You're ready to start when the server and the ball are in one of their corners with the ball stationary. There are four ways to score a point. Get the ball in the opponent's goal. When the opposing striker is in their goal. When two or three obstacles are attached to the opposing striker. And when the opposing striker is not controllable and cannot be brought under control. First to six points wins. Or play first to six wins a set and play best of three or five sets. The, the following clarifications are helpful. Only one point can be scored at a time, and this is by the first event to occur, even if another happens just after. After a point is scored, the board is reset to starting position for strikers, ball and obstacles, with the server being the player who conceded the last point. You may not rescue your striker from the goal. The point is awarded immediately to your opponent. You may not deliberately remove obstacles from your striker, but they can be knocked off in the course of play. The definition of a striker not being controllable includes where it is magnetically attached to the screws in the corner of the board. Obstacles which leave the board are not returned until the board is reset following a point being scored. If the ball leaves the board, then game restarts with serve from corner closest to where the ball left the board. If the ball bounces out of the goal naturally, then it does not count as a point but a player may not deliberately knock the ball out once it's gone in. You may hit the magnets with the ball deliberately to gain advantage. If the ball is in your opponent's half, then you may hit the obstacles with your striker to gain advantage, but when the ball is in your half, you must only make moves towards the ball. Penalty point applies. Oh, and act like a gentleman or a lady at all times. So shake hands at start and end of the match. Now, those clarifications do sound a lot, so... Unless you're competing, feel free to just have fun with this cute little game. Enjoy!